Rosyth Dockyard seen plenty of heavy lifting working with ships and subs. And on his first visit to Scotland since the Partygate scandal, a Prime Minister carrying the weight of tensions with Scottish Tory colleagues and keen to sidestep that awkward issue. I'm working very hard with my uh, colleagues in, in Scotland uh, on our joint agenda of uniting and levelling up and delivering for the people of the whole UK. And I think uh, we're very proud collectively of what, the, uh, of what the UK government has done at all levels. This visit on what's been labelled a levelling up tour coincides with a deal between the UK and Scottish governments to create new green free ports in Scotland. But any agreement on that overshadowed by a disagreement between him and the Scottish Tory leader. Seen here in happier times, now relations have turned more whisky sour after Douglas Ross called on him to resign over Downing Street gatherings. And while Scotland's political parties often clash on the constitution, there is consensus on him resigning. The simple fact of the matter is Boris Johnson is highly unpopular in Scotland. More than three quarters of the electorate want him to go. Even his own party don't want him as leader. I hope, I fervently hope, this is Boris Johnson's farewell trip to Scotland. That he's helping us make the case for independence. On today of all days, are the people of Rosyth feeling the love for the Prime Minister and his levelling up plans? Boris Johnson's here today in Rosyth. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't see him having much traction in Scotland, so... Yeah, he doesn't impress me. I think if he had any sort of integrity, he would have resigned. But not everyone's ready to dump him because of Partygate. Everybody has parties, but uh, we shouldn't have had them when there's because it was COVID and everything, but it all happens. Dockyard visit done next, Penny Cook and a digital business before heading to Cumbria. Levelling up may be the slogan here, but he still has tensions over his leadership to level out. Alan Jenkins, 5 News.